Terry Moran joins me live now from Lviv, Ukraine, for more on this. Uh, Terry, Russia wants Ukraine to abandon its ambitions of joining NATO, but it seems they're leaving the door open for Ukraine to join the European Union. How big of a concession would that be? Uh, that would be a big concession because in 2014, when this war really started, one uh, trigger for it was that the Ukrainian people through their government had decided they wanted to join the European Union. And that was, at the time, uh, Vladimir Putin wasn't going to allow that. Now, uh, now this is part of what looks like a, a major de-escalation being proposed by Russia. In the peace talks today in Turkey, face-to-face -face peace talks, five hours, at the end of which the Russian negotiator came out and said that Russia will pledge to uh, drastically reduce military activity around the city of Kiev, the capital, and a northern city, Cherniev. Now, that is a very big deal, and the Russians also said, as you say, that they'd be allowed to join the European Union, and he looked forward to a, a moment soon when President Zelensky and President Putin could sit down. That said, we just had the sirens going off, which is why I'm wearing this. So uh, Russia certainly has military objectives in the country still that they're interested in, and also, I don't think, wants to look like they've completely given up, weakening their position at the bargaining table. So until there is a deal signed, and who knows whether that deal is the real deal or not, if it comes, uh, there will still be military activity, as we just heard uh, the air raid sirens going off. And President Biden is speaking with leaders of France, Germany, Italy, the U.K. this morning. Will the U.S. and its allies sign on to a security agreement for Ukraine? Uh, they will, Diane. That's an important point that Ukraine has asked for. And the Ukrainian negotiators say that Russia has agreed to, that whenever a deal is done and signed, it would be guaranteed uh, in the way that NATO's Article 5, which pledges mutual defense, an attack on one is an attack on all, and they wouldn't be joining NATO, but they would have the pledge from the United States, uh, the UK, and other major European allies that if Russia violates uh, the deal that is trying to be worked out right now between negotiators and Turkey, uh, that, they, that the United States would come along with the European allies uh, and uh, to Ukraine's defense. That's a big deal. So uh, it looks like part of the diplomacy here is while Ukraine won't join NATO, it'll pledge never to join NATO, it will have the backing, the military backing of NATO partners. And, and that is a big concession from Russia if, in fact, uh, that, is, that is the case. It all has to be written down in ink and signed and then trusted. Uh, and that is a big problem with Vladimir Putin. Yep, all big ifs. Terry Moran in Lviv, Ukraine. Thanks, Terry. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.